Jason, we're set to go for this match. The beginning is John Pecoraro along with Jason Weaver. The Crusaders will be receiving, I believe, Jason. As the crowd is starting to fill in a little bit. Uh, the reserve section is not full yet, but I'm sure will be. Uh, still, uh, actually, four more minutes until game time. But I don't think it's going to be four minutes till game time, Jay. I think it's going to be right about now, Johnny. I think the joy is about ready to emerge. In on the stop. Bushi uh, stumbling out of the blocks, gets the pass off. Madigan, the man in uh, Danny Groves on the stop. Just about a two yard gain. Danny doing a nice job. Danny DeRose uh, planting the Mariner on his head, I believe is the correct term, the head there, I believe, as noted by our crack cameraman, Mark Train, I believe. And uh, we have a special interview guest here this evening from Brooklyn, a uh, man by the name of Mark Tranny, coming out of Brooklyn uh, here to see the game. Nothing better to do, I guess, so he just uh, meandered out from Brooklyn. Your impressions on the game so far and uh, any thoughts you might want to share? Well, uh, all I'd like to say right now, Fior, is that uh, that thing in the paper about jet lag is untrue at this point. We, we do something jet lag, severe jet lag, and I'll explain more later. A brilliant, uh, brilliant commentary by Mark Tranny as a third down and eight for the Mariners and a slip by one of the Crusader defensive backs pass, brings up a uh, first down for the Brooklyn Mariners. Just let me tell you all something uh, real fast here. Uh, this is a national championship semifinal game and uh, Brooklyn Mariners are here because 12 and 0 and Brooklyn Crusaders are here because they're 15 too. So uh, I don't look for uh, Brooklyn to fall these in the second half at all. Scores already 17 to nothing, but uh, they can score 17 points in the second half this season. The Crusaders scored in the first, so uh, I wouldn't look to uh, bury the uh, Mariners right off the bat here. Thank you, Archie Bunker. As the Mariners are deep in the Pueblo Crusader territory. Mushi right now, Jason, tearing up the secondary of the Crusaders. Uh, bringing number them out within the 10-yard the line, and there's still a minute eight remaining in the in the first half, plenty of time as Bushi uh, elects to call timeout. First and goal from the six yard line. Ooh. Lou Bushi is your quarterback, number 14 for Brooklyn. Ooh. Pass into the corner. And incomplete. Uh, Bushi's pass. Nice attempt incomplete. right there. Debona really. Uh, going all out for it. Just off the fingertips of Tom DeBona, a beautiful timing pattern run by the Brooklyn Mariners. In comes uh, for the Mariners, number 33. Madigan and number 23, Bianchini, are your running backs. Bushi uh, has the ball off. Bianchini taking it. Ball, just man. gets to the five yard line. Pick up a one on the play. Dale Cresswell, Joe, uh, Joe Tyvey, Dan DeRose. All in on the stop. Uh, Brooklyn elected to go without the huddle. Third and five, four and five, 45 seconds remaining. Bushi into the end zone. Touchdown, Brooklyn. Complete to Tom DeBona. DeBona, the man that. Uh, the crew had to watch out for last game, uh, excuse me, had to watch out for tonight because he had us the first game last time out against the crew. Gives Brooklyn their first touchdown with 41 seconds remaining in the first half. Definitely an excellent first half for both teams. Uh, even though the Brooklyn Mariners not moving the ball too well, Trevor Crusaders scoring 17 points in uh, the second half, I think, is going to be a real winger dinger as we uh, do have. 18.59 remaining in the halftime period with the home Pueblo Crusaders scoring 17 points. The visiting Brooklyn Mariners scoring 17. 
And we're back for the second half. Short kick taken uh, by Brooklyn, and uh, Brooklyn uh, will have the ball on the 32-yard line to open up the second half. First and ten for the Mariners, 32-yard line, 14:50 in the second half. In the excuse me, the third quarter. Pass dropped by number one Fred Galloway. Wide open was Galloway in the right flat. It's going to bring up a second and ten. Both teams coming out fired up for the second half. Brooklyn Mariners uh, definitely working from the deficit viewpoint. Second and ten. Looks like Bushy under center for the uh, Mariners. Pitch out left. Frank Bian Biancini, I believe. Dale Cresswell on the stop. Gain of about two yards on the play by Bianchini. It's going to bring up a third and about eight for the uh, Mariners. Coming out at a fast pace for the beginning of the second half. Ball on the 34 yard line. Bushy under center. Three men's put wide. Beyond Sheeney, the lone man in the backfield. Bushy looking for a receiver, and he has one. Number one, Fred Galloway with a beautiful reception on the sideline for the first down. Excellent reception by Galloway, Jason, as Cosolino uh, just missed uh, batting the ball in. Talking with uh, Jeffrey Orman earlier uh, during halftime, Jeffrey Orman, of course, uh, radio announcer uh, for Kevin Country. Jeffrey Orman, of course, bald. Uh, Jeff uh, made a good statement that uh, it's a good thing the half ended when it did because the momentum was definitely swinging in favor of Brooklyn. Bushy handing the ball off up the middle. Bianchini Pick up about there. three for uh, Frank Bianchini. Okay. Bushy uh, back to pass over the middle. That's Galloway. Galloway is still up. One man can catch him, and no one will catch him. Fred Galloway. Long TD pass by Brooklyn. Uh, they will now have a chance to cut the game to a, a three-point gap, Jason. Definite swing and momentum coming out for the second half for the Brooklyn Mariners. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened there. Just a missed coverage, uh, I believe, the on cart. Fred Galloway. A beautiful speed reception. Momentum uh, apparently has stayed with Brooklyn. And it's going to be a long, hard uh, fought out battle between these two tough teams in this second half. Uh, it's getting a, a little bit chilly outside, and the kick is just off to the right. And Jason, that could definitely play a big part of this ball game. As the score remains, a four point difference 17 points for Pueblo Crusaders and 13 for the visiting Brooklyn Mariners. 12.29 remaining in the third quarter. 8.37 remaining in the third period. First and 10 after that fake punt from the 31 yard line. Boosie drops back and he's sacked. Danny DeRozan right away. Mo DeRozan also in and Mo appears to be hurt. The DeRozan brothers going crazy. Smoke DeRose down on the ground. 452 remaining in the third period. Straight draw back by Bushy. And he is sacked. Smoke DeRose and Joe Tyme. Smoke's presence is uh, felt right away coming into the ball game. He and Joe Tyme making a big sack. It's going to be third in the bunch. Bushy uh, over the middle, pass is complete, and dragged down by Danny DeRose. Big play by DeRose. 
Brooklyn ball after the fumble by Steve Bryant. Bushy rolling out to his left. Completes the pass. Brought down on the 25 yard line. Brought down by Dale Cresswell and Danny DeRose. Stop made by number 36, Sportscare. Scott Elizondo uh, also in on the play. This is the first man in on the tackle. It's second and three from the 24 yard line. 2.16 remaining in the third period. Handoff uh, very close to the first down. The of the ball carrier. Stop by number 52. Galloway motion right. Handoff up the middle. And a first down for Brooklyn. Madigan taking the ball, picking up about three on the play before he's brought down by John Hancock. First and 10 from the 19 yard line. Bushy back to pass. Pass is complete. Bushy's pass complete to Devona. Uh, should be a first down. Tom Devona, the man on the reception. 36, Scott Elizondo. Play action, passes up, yeah. and intercepted. Yeah. Pass intercepted by number 99, Brick Lazzolino. Pause making maybe the biggest play of his lifetime. Brick Lazzolino, exactly what the Pueblo Crusaders needed right there, a big turnover. Lazzolino, beautiful hands. He was the five yard line, exactly. Exactly what the Pueblo Crusaders needed. Right before the end of the period, uh, heading in the fourth score, 17 13 in favor of the crew. To receive Brian's punt. Punt is off by Brian. Excellent punt. And Scott Elizondo down to make the tackle. Number 36, Scott Elizondo. Crusaders fans on November 19th. This is obviously a big uh, possession right here. Crusaders holding a four point lead, 12 46 remaining in the ball game. First and 10 from Brooklyn's 36 yard line. Hand off Biacchini. He's hit right away. Excellent play coming in. Dale Cresswell. Also, uh, Moke DeRose in on the stop. Moke DeRose, of course, uh, back in after what seemed to be maybe a loss of breath. Visco, I believe it was, and it'll bring up a third and nine. Bushi, uh, straight drop back, screen is set up. Coming up to make the stop was uh, Kolkenberger. It's gonna be very close to a first down. I believe that uh, Brooklyn will go for it. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Uh, you know, earlier, Jason, they uh, were in pump formation and they faked it. Well, you never know. Of course, uh, down four points. He's still, uh, you still have a lot of time. 12 minutes remaining in the ball game, and you wouldn't want to risk anything right here. However, as you said, they did fake the punt before, and it is semi-professional football, so you never know what, what might happen. Looks like number five, Barry Cavanaro, back to punt the ball. And he will indeed punt from his 35-yard line. 10, Rennie Reeves calls for the fair catch at his own 17-yard line. And Cresswell's interception getting down to the one-yard line. Straight drop back by Bryant. 
Bryant's pass nearly intercepted by number 47, Milt Adams. We'll bring up a fourth and 11 with 9.42 remaining in the ball game. Low snap, ball is just off. And uh, Brooklyn uh, setting up a wall to the right side. Kevin Coslino, number 15, in on the stop for the crew. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. Handoff, Miacini. Yeah. Stopped right away by Mo DeRose. Mo DeRose comes back strong. Also being taken stop. off the sidelines. Two tackles, two very important tackles. Uh, what could be the determining drives of this game? Had they, had they, might they, if they get any further into Pueblo Crusader territory. Bushy drops back, looking deep. Nearly re received, I guess you could say, by uh, Fred Galloway. Galloway calling for an interference call. Very close, uh, very tight defense by the crew. It appears that uh, Rennie Reeves is now injured. Reeves uh, was able to run off on his own. Straight drive back by Bushy. Pass off and complete as Elizondo slipped. No flags are down and Brooklyn takes the lead. Tom DeBona, the pass was complete to DeBona's second touchdown of the evening. Number five, Barry Cavanaro, in to attempt the extra point. Nearly blocked by the Crusaders, but it is good. 8.48 remaining in the ball game. The Brooklyn Mariners take the lead 20 to 17 over the Pueblo Crusaders. Straight drop back by Steve Bryant. Bryant's pass, intercepted. Bryant's pass deflected and intercepted by, I believe it was Perino. Just an incredible turn of events thus far in this uh, game here this evening. Pueblo Crusaders gonna have to come out and play some serious defense defending their own four yard line. 20 to 17. Obviously, if uh, they kick a field goal here, the Mariners. Crusaders would have to score a touchdown to win the ball game. Uh, they go for it and they're held, and the Crusaders uh, kick a field goal. The game would be tied. Uh, they're interesting. We move. The imprinted uh, shop is we believe they'll go. We'd like to thank all of our loyal customers and friends. I would have to think, Johnny, that they would uh, go for it right here because, as you said, if, if they do kick a field goal, it's only going to be a six point lead, and the Crusaders will get pretty good field position. Crusaders thus far have had lousy field position, have done absolutely nothing with it, and uh, with the with the past experience, I believe, that the Mariners have seen, the Crusaders would probably not be able to do much with the ball sitting on their own goal line. However, if you are the Pueblo Crusaders right now, you have to you have to be happy with allowing the Mariners to score only a field goal after an interception return to the four-yard line by the Mariners. And now the Pueblo Crusader fans getting behind their defense one of the biggest plays of the game right here, folks. Yanchini, touchdown, Brooklyn Mariners. Number 23, Bianchini on the score. Kevin Aro in to try the PAT.
Snap is there, hold is down, kick is up and blocked. There's a flag down. That's the one attempt to block. There's a flag on the play. Blocked by Dale Cresswell. For 6.33 remaining in the ball game, Brooklyn Mariners 26, Republic Crusaders 17. Passes off, and uh, we're gonna have to see where the mark was. It's gonna be very close. Uh, if anything, it looks that it, it may be a uh, maybe a, a foot short. Uh, we're gonna have the mark on it. Matese saying first down for the Crusaders. The defense uh, for Brooklyn, of course, uh, saying that it is short. So we can see the ball, and uh, this will be the this will be the mark. And they are you can uh, you can see it. They were just about a foot short of the first down. Biancini uh, for the first down. And that'll do it. Be a genie about there. As a reminder, tickets for the national championship game to be played on the 26th. As time runs right off the clock. Stadium, go on sale at all ticket locations. The Provo Crusader season Top Sports Fanatic. comes to a Super depressing Bowl. end, to say the least, after, uh, after Dan DeRose's great efforts to take them all the way to the Super Bowl right here, here in Pueblo, Colorado. They met, met defeat at the hands of the of a very fine uh, Brooklyn Mariners football team at this point 15 and 0. As you leave the stadium tonight, please drive carefully and good night. Final from Dutch Clark Stadium, the Brooklyn Mariners 26, Pueblo Crusaders 24 for cameraman Joe Acuna and uh, Mark Tranny. As for Jason Weaver, this is John Pecorero saying good evening.